serious. Conventional ignorance results in uncurable sickness. A woman's history of domestic violence isn't serious. A man calling for help, not serious. The system applying the laws differently for a man than a woman can't be serious. I was Jason Blue Griffith, and now I'm serious. How can the same laws that wouldn't protect you be enforced to condemn you? Serious injustice. It took two full days of deliberation to reach this verdict. But if that jury knew the things that you know, this verdict would be very different. You know that I called 911 14 times for help. Metro Police. Seven four eight five. Yes, how you doing? Say good morning. Um, I have a situation at my house. My What's going on? Get off of me! Get, get, get off of me! There's no question in the yeah. call. Yes, my my ex girlfriend is in my house and she needs to leave. This has been a this has been the fourth occasion that she's been called. Sir, you better slow down because I can't understand you. Six. Yes. He said, that kid is out of here. That's fucking his room. Okay, that's been. House apartment or condo, sir? This is a house. All right, what's your ex girlfriend's name? My name is Debbie Flores. I'm sorry, repeat that, please. Debbie Flores. Okay, is she Hispanic? Yes. How old is she? Uh, 30. I think that one. Sorry? 30. 30, okay. How tall is she? Uh, about 5'3, five, 5'4. Thin, medium, or large build? Uh, uh, 10. Okay. What is you she wearing today? You were lying to me over here. You said, fuck yourself, and you're so fucking. Sir, what is she wearing today? Uh, she's wearing, um, uh, Adidas, multi colored, uh, pink and white, purple. Okay. Alright, these are routine questions, alright, man? Anyone been hit or pushed? Um, I've been, um, poked in the face and pushed. Okay. You need an ambulance or anything? Oh, no, no ambulance necessary. Can you try for hire any weapons? Uh, nope. All right, what's your name, please? Uh, Jason Griffith. Mr. Griffith, what is he called from? Uh, yes, that's my father. We'll get an outside, okay? Okay, thank you. You know that I attempted to get my own temporary order of protection against Ms. Williams. <laughs> All right, we've got Flores versus Griffith. This is case T129544, and you're Jason? Yes. Okay. And Jason, as you're aware, there was a protection order requested against you, and we're here today to determine whether to extend the order, um, but we don't have a applicant here to request that we do so, so we're just going to dissolve the order and close the case. Okay. Um, the reason I came in today is it possible that I could have that order extended? Because I you don't yeah. want to do that against you, uh, especially with your your uh, a battery charge against you. And I can't make any orders for you okay. through her protection order. You'd have to request your own. Okay. Um, yeah, if you need one yourself, you'd have to get you know fill out the paperwork yourself. There's a protection order office downstairs before you leave the building. It's on your left hand side. Okay. But so I can't make any orders for you in her case. The only thing I can do today is just dissolve it. Okay, and I can get documentation of that for my legal case, correct? Yep, there you go, right there. Yeah, you do any. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Good much. Good luck you, sir. Thank you. You know that I asked a judge like yourself to extend a temporary order of protection to keep Ms. Flores away from me. You know that she was trespassed from my home and that she came back hours later. You know that she sent me hundreds of threat-filled emails and called me hundreds of times in a day and literally sent me over 1,000 text messages in a single day. You know that she slashed my car tires? You do this because you, do this, you, you, do this you think it? I can't prove it. No. Do you think I fucking... Do you think when I'm slashing tires, I'm like, oh, he's like, leave him now? Do you think I had to oh, actually no, no, tell no, you I no. flashed tires? No, you, you, you knew it was going to be me when you walked yeah, out. Yeah, but you, but you knew. Basically, flashing the tires is this. Fuck you. If you think you can fuck with me and hurt with me and right, lie to right, me, I'm going to be out. But you, but. She broke my windows and broke into my home. Um, my girlfriend just came to the house and punched out my window, and she needs to go. But which window did she punch out? Uh, my bedroom window. What she used? Uh, her fist. We all know. 
that if I were a woman and I was accosted by a man like this, I wouldn't be standing before you here today. In tomorrow's paper, the novelist that claims to be journalist won't report the things that you really know. I asked a judge like yourself to extend a temporary order of protection, but that judge didn't know the stuff that you know. I asked 12 jurors to help me and give me back my freedom, but they didn't know the things that you know. I asked the police 14 times to help me, and they didn't know the things that you know. So today, Judge, I'm asking for a 15th time. Will you help me? Talk a lot about what I know. Uh, here's what I know from the trial. The responsibility for this toxic and ultimately tragic uh, relationship continuing as long as it did is entirely yours. You knew who Debbie was, and you knew who she hoped you would be in her life. But you also knew you were never going to be that person. And yet every time she moved on for any length of time, you were the one who brought her back. Here I am asking you, I'm asking you when will you see me? I'm asking you to come by, I'm asking you to spend time with me. And that's something I shouldn't even have to do. <laughs>